first tell us about, you know, your tour going on right mm -hmm. now. You're, you're touring a lot of college campuses across the country. Yeah, we, uh, uh, this is the Declaration Tour, and uh, it just, it made sense for, for me, personally. I think uh, to come off of, uh, you know, Idol and the Idol Tour, we were doing these arenas all summer. I just wanted to do something a little smaller and a little bit more intimate, and uh, yeah, I remember when I went to school, going to these shows on campus, there was a vibe there that you don't find anywhere else, and uh, it was really just something I wanted to tap into. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about Green Bay so far? You know, you got here a few hours ago. What have mm -hmm. you experienced here? Uh, I actually uh, was really lucky. We got a chance to go to our Lambeau Field. I'm a big sports fan. Uh, I'm a Chiefs fan, but um, to, to walk into a place with that historical context was crazy. They took us down on the field. And, uh, I did the Lambo leap and uh, and actually ripped the inside of my jacket. So that uh, one, this one, yeah. Can so, you see it? Uh, well, yeah. Is I, it on the inside? You ripped it. Uh, just just right here, you know, in the pit area, which is probably oh. the most embarrassing spot. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting on um, the check from the Green Bay Packers to help repair <laughs> my jacket. So I'm sure that will be coming. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if you don't mind, we do want to ask you some idle questions. Are Absolutely. you watching this season? Um, I haven't watched every episode. I've, I've uh, you know, with, with everything going on lately, it's been kind of tough to catch up, but we have t to everything, and so I'm just kind of waiting for, like, a couple of days so I can head home and watch. Um, but uh, from what I've seen so far, I mean, I, it amazes me every season that talent keeps coming out of the woodwork because, like, eventually you'd think, like, that well's got to run dry, but there's just a ton of talent, and... Uh, um, you know, I've got the people that I like that I've seen so far, but I haven't seen everybody. So I'm kind of reserving my favorite spot after I've seen everybody. You've been on Idol, obviously. Mm -hmm. you, you, you took the, the championship last year. We watch Idol now from at home in our TVs. Mm -hmm. What What is actually going on there that we're not <laughs> seeing? What's that competition really like? Um, you know, our season was, was really... Uh, I, I think I think the people that watched at home really got a three dimensional aspect of what we were like. You know, we we were all kind of had a really cool sense of self with each other, and so um, there there was no bad blood, no undercutting or anything like that. I, I still like I talked to Archie probably once a week and Mike and Carly every couple of weeks, and um, we just we we formed these really cool friendships and a really cool bond as a group, and so um, yeah, pretty much what people saw on TV is what they got. Can I jump in? Um, yeah. I was just wondering, how did you decide that you were going to audition for Idol? Is this something that you knew that you were going to do for a while, or was it kind of spur of the moment? Um, well, actually, my little brother had wanted to audition for years, and uh, asked me, finally got the courage to go, like three years after he originally said he wanted to do it, he finally got the courage and was like, okay, I'm going to go up to Omaha, I'm going to audition, would you like to come with as moral support? And I was living in Tulsa and working on a record down there, and I was just like, okay, you know, I'll come up and you know, just help out, so he's got a buddy, and so my mom and, and Andrew and myself went up, and we were standing in line to register. And the uh, producer comes up with a camera, shoves it in my brother's face, and says, why are you the next American Idol? And you know, he gave his response. And then the, the camera turned to me, and I was like, wait, I'm not auditioning. And he goes, well, just go ahead and answer the question. Da, da, da. So, okay. Uh, I was like, I guess I'm trying out for Idol so I could try to go on a date with Mandy Moore. You know? And... Uh, so I got done with that, and then my mom's like, see, you kind of have to audition now. So literally, like, three minutes before I registered, I picked the song and didn't really have any time to think about it. So um, I never did get that day with me anymore. I think she's engaged now. So yeah, she bum out for me. Yeah. Out. Did yeah. you ever dream at that moment that you would become the American Idol? No. No, no, not at all. I mean, they told us... Uh, I, I made it through the first round of auditions and had no idea what to expect. So I was like, okay, you know, whatever. And, uh, and then they told us, like, 103,000 people audition you know, nationwide. And that's just an absurd number. Um, so the thought of, like, me being the one out of 103,000, no, I never. Not until, like, maybe top three that I think, okay, I might have a shot. Mm -hmm. I get this. So. Since then, has there been a moment where you thought it could be something little, something big, where you're like, wow, yeah, I really did it? Um, like, in a situation where that happened? Two things. One, um... I was lucky enough to, to get to perform for Hillary Clinton at Carnegie Hall for the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. Uh, to walk on stage at Carnegie Hall at all is like a huge thrill. And then, uh, to, to have somebody of, of uh, Hillary Clinton's caliber like, say she's a fan is like, I, I still am not even going to try to wrap my head around it. And then uh, the other thing is uh, recently we got a chance to, as, a, as a group to go to um, 
uh, the Middle East and perform for the troops as part of the USO. And, uh, that was amazing, you know, to to kind of feel like we were doing something bigger than ourselves, and and uh, and just I, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of anything that's got substance, like on a, on an emotional level, and so to do something like that and to see like you know these soldiers who have dealt with some of the like the most horrid things imaginable, like just to be happy and to watch a show and not have to think about anything. That was really cool. Not to compare situations, but you're talking about, you know, emotions. For the first time uh, this morning, I listened to your song, Permanent, oh, online. Right. Amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, and you really had a lot of emotions uh, creating that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Permanent was uh, was actually the last song that we tracked for the record. Um, it was written really late in the process with uh, myself, uh, Rain Maida, and Chantal. And, and uh, we really knocked it out quick I think from from writing the song until we tracked I think it was like two and a half yeah that's what it yeah and we tracked it live um, two takes and it was just uh, uh, that's the first time I think in, in my musical career uh, where the idea that, that I had in my head is what got put down and uh, definitely a really cool cornerstone moment on the record and live um, you know we've kind of reworked it a little bit and uh, had a really cool response with it very cool yeah do you have any, any other questions? I have some random, odd, weird questions. Bring it on. What would you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, today's a good day to ask. I had a, I had Chef Boyardee mini ravioli for breakfast. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, oatmeal didn't sound good, and uh, we were out of Frosted Flakes. Describe your <laughs> tour bus. What um, you packed with? What are your favorite things? What do you got to have with you on the road? Well, first off, it's packed with 12 dudes, which is, uh, which is rough because we all... Stink, uh, <laughs> except our tour manager Art, who is an immaculate human being. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, food-wise, uh, you gotta have skim milk. Um, I don't drink it, but everybody else seems to. We have a, a single-serving coffee maker that is apparently like the big thing right now. And then, um, I'm a big fan of reduced-fat cheese. It's so I don't like the regular cheeses because they're greasy, but the reduced fat, they're perfect. So. What's the most recent movie you've seen? Uh, most recent movie I've seen. I wow. really don't have a lot of time to watch them. I think the last movie I went and saw was The Four Christmases. I think I got to like two and a half Christmases and then fell asleep. <laughs> Any ladies in your life? <laughs> um, uh, no. <laughs> 